Hello Riders, this is Chinmay from Megado Clinic. Uh, today I am going to show you how to recognize sensors and how to remove the sensor uh, connectors from the uh, given points, right? Now, this is what we are going to use, this is the motorcycle. Uh, we are going to check out, this is an electronic fuel injected motorcycle, so we are going to check out which plugs are connected on which sensor. First of all, I have a wiring harness uh, from the same bike. Uh, the wiring harness has got few connectors as you can see there are some click points or the lockable locks how to you know uh, handle those locks also these are most very important critical jobs also there's a ECM and the motorcycle now how many connection uh, sensors are there including this the first sensor I should say basically there's the ECM the first connector then over here fuel injected uh, this is a fuel injector bike, so this has got a. This is a pump, fuel injected uh, fuel injector connector. This is a. This is a TPS throttle position sensor. This is a. This connector or the sensor is connected or uh, attached or installed on the throttle body, right? Second sensor. Second sensor is. Crank position sensor. Crank position sensor is fitted inside the uh, casing, right? This is the wire. This has got a uh, two wires. Basically, one is uh, for the alternator and second is for the uh, CP sensor. That is the crank position sensor. Third sensor is temperature sensor. Temperature sensor is fitted on the head, right? Fourth sensor is MAP sensor. That is a manifold absolute pressure. Right? This sensor is fitted on the throttle body as well, just like TPS. Fifth sensor, which is a low fuel sensor. The just a low fuel sensor has got nothing to do. Otherwise, everything is fine. And the sixth, which is the last one, is a rollover sensor. This is you can say rollover sensor. This is given a second. This is basically for the security purpose. Just in case if you fall down, if the bike is uh, beyond particular degrees, the bike should stop. So there, uh, there will be no further damage. So the sensor basically cut off the fuel injection and the bike cut, right? The last sensor which is, uh, I should not say basically sensor, but it is also related to the uh, ignition system that is given for the uh, ignition coil which is inside or below the, uh, below the tank. I don't know whether you can see, right? I will show you all the sensors basically in the wiring harness, that is why I have one wiring harness externally. Now how to recognize and how to remove, right? There's a fuel uh, fuel injection pump. If you want to disconnect the connector from fuel injection pump, you have to pull this lug with the help of you can say connector or something. Just disconnect this and pull the connector. Don't pull through the wire. Don't hold the wire. You have to hold the connector. Disconnect the connector and pull it out. Right? The FIP connector is disconnected. Right? Now this is your uh, low fuel indicator same like that just press this one it will come out right the next sensor is TPS sensor I also forgot to mention about the fuel injector connector right this is a fuel injector connector which is below the tank the, that connector is not visible from this side so you will have to remove the fuel tank first of all if you if you want to remove the fuel connect, uh, fuel injector connector there are two points which you have to hold just press inside right as you can see these lugs are expanding just press it pull the connector out it will come out don't use any kind of a plier or something like that same applies to this is a map sensor for the map sensor you have to basically press this point you can see this point map sensor is fitted over here on the throttle body on the top you have to press like this and pull the connector not the wire again not the wire this is a temperature con uh, sensor connector again same way press the click press it and pull it out you have to hold the connector body not the wire again and again i'm telling you the same thing the last one is your tps sensor the tps sensor is from the below side now again how to disconnect this see this is the lug point or the lock you have to press this lock you can see this is moving you have to press this lock and pull it out 
that's it don't use any kind of a plier to remove the connector the last sensor which is under the fuel uh, seat is your yeah sorry this both the connector uh, looks very very same similar this is the FIP connector and this is a rollover sensor rollover sensor also just like uh, FIP connector only so just use the small connector and just pull out the connector will come out the last and the least is the most important thing is the ECU connector ECU connect is one of the <coughs> sensitive part see now this is in this is, uh, just we'll just consider that the ECU is inside the motorcycle now how to disconnect the ECU the connector uh, locking point or unlocking point is the or the press point is the, or the pressure point is the plastic which is given on the body now look at this that's it I am holding the connector, I am not holding the wire, okay? I am holding the connector, just remove it. That's it. You are dislocating or removing the uh, issue very easily. Again, I will show you. While fitting, you just have to press. Don't use any end of a force. Again, I am going to show you. Just press this point, remove the issue. Disconnect it, that's it. Same applies to all other connectors. This is the FIP connector under the fuel tank. Then... Rollover sensor connector, then uh, temperature connector, map connector, FIB connector, TPS connector there are, and uh, CP point is the most important which I forgot to mention about CP connector. CP connector is just like this. This is not CP connector, this is a very different connector but the CP connector or the crank position sensor connector is just like this only. You have to press the uh, male body or the female body from this point it will dislocate just pull the connector the connector will be dislocated from this point so while working on the connector very much you have to i mean you have to take care at high level because if you break any one of the connector lock the sensor wire or the connector or the plug will come out of the sensor and your bike will conk off on the road and you won't be able to diagnose very quickly since you are uh, you basically uh, go into the trance while riding so you forget to check all other points since you are not a mechanic so you have to make sure first of all when you are disconnecting if you are DIY uh, under DIY condition you have to make sure what you are doing check the video twice and then only work on the bike I am not responsible just in case if you break while working on the bike thanks for watching enjoy